I'm often asked, how do you introduce yourself on a B2B sales call? And I know that this is such an important part of the sales process. You never get a second chance to make a first, a first impression, as the saying goes. But so many salespeople get this bit wrong. So I thought I'd share our way of structuring the introduction to a sales call. We make over two and a half thousand cold calls every week, and it works very well for us. So if you or your sales team are struggling with this uh, in any way, here are some ideas that will help you get this area of your call to work very well for you. At FMG, we use a simple three-step process to structuring a successful introduction. It's professional and it works very well. Number one, tell the prospect your name and your company and if you've met them before. It sounds obvious, but make sure you establish this upfront and immediately. If this is your first conversation with them, let them know this up front. <clears throat> if they've met you before, let them know this too at the beginning of the call. So don't leave them racking their brains trying to remember who you are and if they've met you, uh, instead of listening to what you've actually got to say. When you run your introduction, speak slowly and use pauses. Avoid the temptation to rush your introduction. Our standard introduction works really well and it goes like this. Good morning, John. It's Richard Forrest from XYZ Company. You and I haven't met, but I'm hoping you can help me out for a moment. Note that this is a question and you're asking for their permission. So pause and let them answer. In most cases, you'll find they'll say yes. Step two, introduce your company and the reason for your call. Again, seems obvious. But this should be a short elevator pitch, which is no more than three sentences and com clearly communicates what you do and the challenges that you solve for companies like theirs. The key here is that this elevator pitch should be as much about them as about you. So here's an example of an elevator pitch for a company that provides debtor finance. We help companies who have clients that are taking longer and longer to pay them, making it harder for them to pay their staff and their suppliers. What we do is we take away the stress of having to chase these clients for payments by paying their invoices to you as soon as they are issued. This gives you a significant boost to your cash flow and you never have to worry about being unable to pay your staff or suppliers on time. Now you can't just stop there. So step three is to wrap up your introduction. And you must refrain from jumping straight into a full pitch at this point. You want to save that for your sales meeting with them. What you want to do is segue into what I call the discovery phase of the call. And the way to do this really easily is to say something like, I don't know enough about your situation right now to know if something like this would make sense for you. So would you mind if I asked you a couple of quick questions? It's really simple. It's really no pressure. And you'll be amazed at how this sentence conveys respect for the other person. There's no assumption that they need your services at this point and how often they'll be happy for you to continue and to move into the next stage. From here, you move into the discovery phase of your call, where you find out if they have the issues that your typical customer would have and whether they'd be a good prospect for your business. But that's a subject for the next blog. If you'd like to know more about how to introduce yourself on a B2B cold call, please read the full blog article.